Hi, I'm Janet Doerr. Um, I've been pretty active all my life, and I ate what I thought were pretty healthy foods. But by the age of 53, I'd been having a lot of pain in both my hip joints, so my daily walks had gotten pretty painful. Um, it took an leave once or even twice a day to manage the pain. I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis in both hips. My x-rays showed major deterioration of my joints. Uh, my bones were now rough and pitted, and the cartilage was torn or missing in places. So at age 54, I got my first total hip replacement. So not long after that, I left my corporate job and then was using my time off to improve my health. So I learned about making I am statements. So I made the I am statement, I am improving my health. And then I started asking questions. Um, with hip replacements reported to have about a 20-year life, I was facing replacement of my right hip and then two more surgeries to replace both hips when I would be in, uh, in my 70s. So soon after that, I was walking in the dog park with my two dogs. I ran into a woman about my age, and we got talking about our health goals, and I told her about my hip pain. She immediately then asked me if I ate wheat. She then told me that wheat was inflammatory, and inflammation in the joints was the major cause of pain. And then it turns out that she was a nurse on the Oregon State Pain Board and had just written a book on inflammation. The gluten protein in the wheat caused inflammation, as did other inflammatory foods like dairy. So I went home, and I told my husband I would no longer eat any wheat and see what happened. Well, after just five days without wheat, I was virtually pain-free. It was amazing because I found wheat in everything. Um, an ingredient called malt dextrin was a thickener in soups, salad dressings, even barbecue sauce. At one point, I remember just yelling out in fr frustration, what can I eat? And this question then led me to uh, a gluten-free tour at my local health food store uh, where I got to taste things like some gluten-free crackers and wheat-free soy sauce. So we found some alternatives. But over the next month, 10 pounds of fat just fell off my body without dieting, just the change of taking wheat out of my diet. The pain stayed away, and the stiffness in my joints went away. So now I no longer take any pain medication at all. I no longer plan to get my second hip replaced. I'm able to walk miles, even on pavement and cement, and I can garden for hours at a time. So I next found the great book, The Wheat Belly, which is written by cardiologist William Davis, MD. Uh, Dr. Davis explained it all really clearly in his book. I was blown away. Wheat was hybridized and changed over the years, primarily in the 70s and it was bred to produce more grain on shorter stocks. So this was done to try to reduce, at the time, world hunger and increase the yield of crops. So in the process, the new modern-day wheat created gluten proteins which didn't exist in the original wheat. Gluten is the protein in wheat which makes it sticky and hold together, and it's what allows wheat breads to stretch as they rise but still hold together. So these gluten protein molecules are big, and our bodies treat them like uh, a foreign invader in our gut. So our bodies mount what is then called an inflammatory response to these invader molecules. So my health problems and inflammation increased a lot during the last decade as I ate more of this newest form of wheat. So for anyone with any health issues, I'd suggest going wheat-free for two weeks or a month. And decide for yourself whether wheat is having an impact on your health. The prevalence of people Going gluten-free is increasing, and it's increasing well beyond those people who have been formally diagnosed with celiac. So uh, anytime you've got a question, uh, the easy thing to do is just take the food out of your diet for a couple weeks, see how you feel, see if you notice a change, reintroduce it, see how you feel. So that would be my recommendation is trust your, trust your instincts. And if you're, if you're listening to this and saying, I wonder if wheat is impacting my diet, do your own experiment and see how you feel.